snuck down here where we're exactly 400 yards from the buck. He's still bedded down. I don't think he knows we're here. We're going to have to wait until he stands up. All we can see is his head and his horns. So we're going to have to wait until he stands up to maybe re-bed. I missed. Cleanly. No blood. No injured deer. No no parties were hurt during this episode except for Casey's ears because it's a big ass break on this gun. We couldn't get the camera on for the uh, shot because my dad had to use the tripod for a rest. But uh, it worked out just how we wanted to. Got down here about 420 yards. Um, I mean, we always try to get closer, but this was like the last bit of uh, cover we had, so we set up and 
And we're actually trying to get just, we're going to head back up to these rocks. Because if you can lay down and get your backpack under your gun and lay down and get comfortable, prone is, you know, my favorite way to shoot. I think my dad's too, super steady. But as soon as my dad started headed up, I grabbed him by the coat. I'm like, sit down, he just got up. So I gave him the tripod, he got on it. He felt pretty comfortable and uh, shot a couple times over there and just kind of scared him. But uh, cool deer, way cool deer. I think it's an old deer. He's regressing a little bit, but I don't know, it was fun. We're literally like two miles from my house, which is even cooler. I've always wanted to live somewhere where I could go hunt big bucks out my back door, and uh, I think this is it. But uh, I don't know, season goes for another five days. My dad has to go back to work tomorrow, so I guess I'll have to come down here and shoot that deer and show him what he looks like. <laughs> Good, I'd like to see him. 